disorders. I would think Dr. Truong would be better able to answer that question. Dr. Chiu. Well, I think in the last few years, Vietnam have invested a lot of money in technology. But having technology and know how to use the technology and how to use it correctly are two different. Mm. Are different. Having it, knowing how to yeah. use it. Yeah. At the same like you have a camera. Mm -hmm. Everyone can have a camera. But the picture will be different. So this is the part we will try to enhance. That you're trying to enhance in Vietnam. Well, Dr. Jaroff, thank you very much for joining us today. My giving pleasure. your insight into our guest here, Dr. Chua. Thank you very much. <laughs>the information from the courses and the active support from Dr. Daniel Chung made it possible for the doctors at the Ho Chi Minh City Pharmaceutical and Neurological University to set up faculties dedicated to neurological study. Dr. Chung also wrote a book about clinical neurology in Vietnamese. The term has become a handbook for many neurologists in Vietnam. Những cái người mà ở cái trình độ cao đã lâu năm như tụi tôi thì đọc cũng thấy bộ bổ ích. Mà những anh em sinh viên mà mới ra trường, những anh em bác sĩ mà người ta mới bước chân vào chuyên khoa ấy, thì người ta cũng thấy là, là có những cái nó vừa sâu mà nó vừa có cái cơ bản nữa. Và đề cập đến khá nhiều vấn đề, kể cả những cái lĩnh vực rất là sâu trong ngành thần kinh. Hiện nay ví dụ như là những vấn đề về gen chẳng hạn trong các cái bệnh lý thần kinh. In other efforts, Dr. Chung also provided financial assistance for many Vietnamese doctors to go to the U.S. for further training in neurology. Anh Trương Dũng là một người quan tâm đến cái chuyện nghiên cứu hơn. Mà chúng ta biết rồi là những cái chuyện nghiên cứu thì thường thường là cái lợi ích kinh tế nhiều khi nó cũng chẳng có. Đấy, ông, anh có một cái, cái, cái lab, tức là một cái phòng thí nghiệm để nghiên cứu về những cái mô hình rối loạn vận động. Và trong đó, những cái bệnh lý như là dung giật cơ, màu là myoclonus, hay là những cái bệnh lý về những cái uh, loạn dung lực cơ đấy, gây dựng mô hình đó và anh điều trị và thử thuốc để tác dụng. Và bên California trong những năm 96, khoảng gần nửa năm như vậy, thì chúng tôi tôi đã học được cái phương pháp điều trị bằng tốc simutilinum, cũng từ anh Trương Dũng. Every year, 200 patients suffering from neurological related diseases are treated using botulinum toxin which is used for subdermal muscle cell reproduction. Each time he comes to Vietnam, he gives presentation about treatment of Parkinson's disease, how to use medication and when to use what. He said certain drugs that currently used should not be the first line of treatment. Treating a long-term patient requires a treatment strategy. With the adoption of advanced technologies, Dr. Jung has also been able to treat patients here in Vietnam. One of his patients is Madam Thai Thi Kim Cook. She is the principal of the Um Ik Kim Primary School in Da Nang City. Well, we're lucky enough to have Ms. Cook here in the studio with us to tell us about her treatment and how Dr. Chung has helped her with her disorder. So, Madam Cook, would you please join us on stage? Well, thank you, Madam Cook, for joining us today. How are you feeling? Mình ra đây mới ra đây cũng khỏe. Cũng khỏe. Dạ. 
And um, how did you meet Dr. Chuang and how did you benefit from his treatment? Mình gặp bác sĩ cách đây 3 năm. Ừ. Trong trường hợp là bác sĩ đến Đà Nẵng và qua ban giám đốc bệnh viện Đà Nẵng thì mình đã gặp được bác sĩ. And um, were you first when he first started treating you, were you convinced by his treatment? Did you see any progress? Lần đầu tiên ấy thì mình chưa tin lắm bởi vì không có cái gì để mà À, củng cố cái niềm tin của mình hết nhưng mà sau một thời gian hai năm thì mình rất là tin tưởng ở cái phương pháp của bác sĩ và mình đã sang bên Mỹ để điều trị cái bệnh này. Over a year ago, Miss Cook wasn't able to write a neat letter by hand, but things are now different. Thái Thị Kim Cook can write easily with good control of her hand, as if she had never suffered from Parkinson disease. She can even arrange flowers and prune the flower branches skillfully and accurately like she did before. Go experienced the first symptoms of Parkinson's or movement disorder in 1994, but until 1997 could local doctors diagnose her with the exact disease. Cook had heard about the expertise of Dr. Chung long before, and through one of her acquaintances, Cook was lucky enough to meet the reputable doctor when he visited Vietnam in 2003. Following his treatment guidelines and encouraged by her family, Cook and her husband were determined to go to the United States for radical treatment in October 2005. Cook traveled to the distant land, the USA, full of anxiety. For Cook, it was not easy at all. A magical thing happened to Cook after the successful surgery performed by Dr. Chung and his colleagues at the Long Beach Hospital, California. The first needle into her cranium started the seven-hour-long surgery. Cook woke up after the surgery and the doctor removed the bandage. Cook can now control her hands thanks to a special device implanted in her body. The device is operated by remote control. This is believed the optimal solution for Parkinson's disease sufferers and proved to be much more effective than medicine. Gone are the days when Cook suffered nervous breakdowns from Parkinson's when she was in her early 40s. Cook is now returning to her job. And the most important thing is Cook and her family enjoying a life free from the drawbacks of neurological disorders. <laughs>